Hey everyone, and welcome to a Fire Emblem Heroes unit review of Mythic Yoon. I'm going to be saying Yoon throughout the video because that's how Makaya says it. That aside, Intelligent Systems! Why must you spoil Radiant Dawn like this? Oh whatever. This review will go over her stats, skill synergy, skill potential, counters, and builds. Let's begin. These creatures are made of some tough meat. The Chaos Goddess Yoon casts a Catastrophe as a Green Tome Flyer. To be honest, I was kind of expecting her to be an armor unit, like she had the coat thing like Legendary Tiki. I'm kind of happy she's not an armor unit. I wish I could say that I'm happy I won't have to face her in high tier arena, but we have G-Duel flying. But overall, I'd say Yoon as a flyer is very good. With her skills and stats, being so mobile is very nice. She also has access to Legendary Zero's Prey Wheel and Grey Wave's effect. Air is a free to play flyer and they can work together very well. Not to mention that you can pair her up with other tome flyers for some strong blade tome action. Anyways, her standout stats are her HP and res. 38 HP is very nice and she can take a lot of hits, especially with her high res at base 37. Like, what? That's one of the highest res stats in the game. Yoon is made to take on magical hits, even from red tomes. Her attack at base 33 has a lot of potential. With the boon, she'll have 36 attack and she can deal lots of damage. It's not super high like other units nowadays, but it's still very strong. Her speed is okay, and with the boon, you can make an okay speedy Yoon set. Funny enough, her only super boon is in defense. Like, what? What is Yoon gonna use that defense for? Even if it's 19. 19. It's not like Yoon could take a hit that well. But hey, maybe she could run sturdy impact. As weird as that would be. Anyways, her best boon are in res or attack. Best veins are probably in HP or defense. There aren't that many green tone flyers who have high res like Yoon. But, Bridal Sanaki is the best comparison. Their stats are very close. Funny since Sanaki doesn't have a bird like Mikaya. Yoon completely outclasses Sanaki in terms of res. Even her tome, magic, chaos thing gives her plus 3 res. Both of them are good, but in terms of stats, Sonaki is pulling on ahead. But when it comes to long range debuff support, Yoon is better. Not to mention that it's okay that Yoon has less speed. With her Chaos Weapon, she doesn't need to worry about doubling since it will give her the follow up. When it comes to skill synergy, Yoon is not lacking. She is one of the most interesting skill synergy I've seen in a while and it all works around her B skill, Sabotage Res 3. We've seen sabotage skills before, so this isn't completely new. At the start of the turn, if any foe's res is less than or equal to Yoon's res minus 3, and they're adjacent to another foe, they get a minus 7 res debuff. It's a solid skill for Yoon. She can do more damage, support her allies, and debuff multiple foes without much effort. The only drawback to this is the adjacent condition. If you're facing a bunch of cavalry units, then it will be harder to get the debuff. But for Armor Emblem, it's much easier since they typically stick together. And hey, you know where you can find a lot of Armor Emblem teams? High tier arena! Wow, it's like Yoon is made for G Duel Flying. If you want Yoon to debuff more, then you're in luck. Her personal C skill is Chaos Named. That is such a cool name for a skill. Like, what's next? Order Incarnate? That aside, it is a very nice effect. At the start of the turn, foes within 3 columns of Yoon whose res is less than or equal to Yoon's res minus 3 gets a minus 5 debuff on their highest stat. When it calculates these stats, it treats attack like minus 15. This is to get rid of the weapon's might. For example, Laszlo. He comes with a silver sword, a 15 might weapon. Hey, uh, a thousand systems? Why does Laszlo not have a refine yet? I'm sitting here with a plus 10 Laszlo and he deserves- that aside, let's say Lazo was unfortunate enough to be in Chaos Named range. When calculating his stats to figure out which is the highest, it would take away minus 15 attack. This way, the skill will look at the base stats of Lazo. His highest out of all the stats is attack, so we'll get minus 5 attack debuff. There are some positives and some negatives with the skill. Positives, Yoon can debuff several stats on multiple units. Her weapon is Chaos Manifest, which is a really cool name. It gives her plus 3 res, so the minus 3 res comparison for Sabotage and Chaos Named isn't hurting her. Chaos Named has a very large range with 3 columns, and Yoon is a flying unit so she can access all the spaces to get the debuff. 
Legendary Marth and Legendary Roy have skills that rely on having buffs, and debuffs can hurt them a lot. Negative wise, there are some units who can best use res and not get a debuff. Just like visible buffs, debuffs don't stack as well. If Yoon gets minus 7 res on a foe and then they get a minus 5 debuff, it wouldn't stack to minus 12. Only the minus 7 stays. Now that I've talked about her setup, let's talk about the main star of the show, her weapon, Chaos Manifest. The coolest sounding name for any weapon in the game. Grants res plus 3, which I mentioned before. This way, whenever Yoon is comparing her res, she'll be using her base 37 res. Its effect is very good though. If there's a penalty or a negative status on the foe, Yoon will get plus 6 attack during combat and she is guaranteed a follow up attack. This is fantastic, Yoon doesn't need to worry about doubling with her lowest 27 speed with this weapon. That was a lot to talk about, let's go over her other skills. Glaces is a very nice special for her with her high res. Only problem is that it has a long cooldown and Yoon has no skills to drop it faster. Now you could run Heavy Blade on Yoon. The problem is that her attack isn't that high. With Chaos Manifest and Attack Boon, it pairs very well with her A skill, Attack Res Bond. More damage and more magic tanking. And if you can get the Chaos Manifest and the Bond buff, she'll get plus 11 attack. Solid, but not impressive by any means. To be honest, I don't think Attack Res Bond is that good on Yoon compared to something like G Dual Flying, Close Counter, maybe even Mirror Strike. Sure, it's one less point, but it doesn't have the ally condition. G Dual Flying is the most recommended because widespread debuffs are very helpful. If you want Deirdre to be more powerful, then Sabotage Res ain't bad on her. With Quick Repost as her seal, her options open up as she faces more dragons. Same thing can be said about Julia. Since Julia's Naga Tome stops adaptive damage by dragons, her B slot is open for some spicy sets. As for counters, high res units who can't get debuffed suck. We don't have a red bow unit yet, but we're all still hoping for Alm? Can we get an Alm ult soon, maybe please? This one's a bit obscure, but harsh command. It reverses the debuffs and just makes the foe more powerful. If people are having trouble with her, then it's not that bad of an option. Now for builds. The first three will be some simple standard builds, but after that, I want to show some more interesting builds. First build is a simple budget set. With Chaos Manifest, Yoon is so close to the even 50 attack, so let's give it to her. This way, she'll reach 61 attack with her weapon and bond. It's nothing too special since Yoon already has a solid base kit. Second build uses G Dual Flying to help her get into higher tier arena. Now, she's running ploys here, and that's a risk to take. If Chaos Name debuffs the stat of the ploy you're running, then it's kind of useless. You could run speed ploy because most armors don't have that good speed. But of course, if you run into something else, then other ploys will be more useful. Third build is your standard blade tome set, except she's running close counter instead of an offensive A skill. With her high res and mystic boost, Yoon can be a strong dragon check, even being able to take on red dragons. While it does suck that she won't be able to get the sabotage res off, she still has chaos named. Now for some other builds. Fourth build uses Grom Blooms along with double attack res bond. With this, Yoon can get plus 13 attack and res. That's pretty impressive. Of course, an Owl Tome works too if you prefer Yoon to have more speed. But the problem with Owl Tomes is that they want all your allies with you. Grom Blooms only needs one ally. So should you summon for Yoon? She's an excellent magic tank with her incredibly high res. Her attack is pretty solid, and you might be able to run a sturdy impact with a defense super boon. Her debuffing powers are very strong and consistent, and she'll call you an air breather. On the other hand, her defense sucks. Her speed holds her back from being a fast offensive flyer. Sabotage res is great and all, but the ally condition can make it hard to get the debuff. Thanks for watching. I hope you all enjoyed the video. Subscribe for more Fire Heroes content and leave a like. Follow me on Twitter at exile underscore tie for updates and reactions. With all that, stay hydrated folks and keep breathing air.